Howdy folks, this here is Clem B. Diddle Squat, coming to you again for my continuing to be renovated church home at St. David's United Church of Christ, 142 Hobart Road in Hanover, Pennsylvania. I ain't seen y'all in a long time. It's good to see you again. We thought might be a good idea to do a recap of the year 2020. What a year it has been for us all. Here at St. David's, it has been quite the year indeed. I'm going to share with you some of what's been happening here throughout the year. Well, the year began like any other year. And then March, March the 15th, that was our last worship service inside our facility and we're not quite sure when we're going to safely get back in there. But we had started having worship outside. That's right. We started in our parking lot. Then when it got too hot, we moved to our grove. Then when the nuts started falling off of them there trees, we moved back over to the parking lot. And that's where we are still at, in our parking lot. Having worship, beautiful worship, great attendance. We're so glad you're all coming, and we're glad that you're sticking with us through this pandemic. We really felt as though this pandemic's gonna make a lot of people have needs. So our mission committee, along with some willing volunteers from the church, we decided to plant a little garden. So we planted potatoes and peppers and tomatoes. And we shared them throughout the summer along with some other crops with the people from the summer lunch program and with other people in our community and congregation who had need. We did a great job reaching out beyond these walls to help those in need. Why the renovations of these here facilities got into full swing around May. And they're still ongoing, but they're just about done. Beautiful, beautiful renovation work done throughout our building. I think you're all going to like what you see when you get back here. And it makes us more up to date. Why, some parts of this building ain't seen anything like this kind of renovation in about 70 years. It was quite the undertaking, but they did a great job. Thanks to all those who helped moving stuff out, back in, and we still got some work to do putting stuff back in. But we had a great number of volunteers that came out and helped whenever they was called upon. Thank you all. Why, one very big part of them renovations was that their medical loan closet where we gather items from the community and we share them with others in need. He did a super job making that medical closet very, very organized. We had some cabinetry from Dr. Hirsch's office. We had some volunteers that washed and got everything ready to be put back up. Why, it's been stuff coming and a-going there all summer long, but right now it's a-going full bore. And we're so glad for all the help making that medical closet happen to help those in need in our community. Why, knowing we was going to be outside for Christmas, Advent, and Christmas services, we decorated outside of the church like never before. 
We put up lights, a garland, a tree, all kinds of window decorations. It really looked good. And we had a great turnout of help to get it ready for everyone to enjoy. Why, we even had a new banner made for Advent candle lighting. And they even made that preacher man, Scott, they made him a little shelter where he could stand in and preach from on the back of that there pickup truck. And they got that lady Sally, why, they got her a little egg-shaped thing for her to sit in to do her camera work. Why, she's done tremendous amount of work making sure all this stuff can be seen in our community and we are really, really thankful to her. I hope that you enjoyed the holiday decorations and even, even Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, it was a raining, raining hard at times, but we had a great turnout of worshipers. Thank you all for coming and supporting us even though things ain't like they what used to be right now. For now, we are going to continue the outside worship just because safety is the number one concern for our congregation and our community. We know many of you are aching to get back inside and believe me, so is that preacher man Scott because there's a lot of extra has to happen before and after church right now with the outside services. But safety is our number one concern. So we're going to start offering our Bible study and our grief share on something called Uber Conference. Now I don't know what Uber Conference is. I just know it's kind of like that Zoom. You know we talked about that earlier this summer. Zoom. Well you can call in or get online and participate in Bible study and also in the grief share. Now there could be some glitches because this new technology, well the workers don't know what they're doing. Now, this guy, oh sorry you can't see that guy, but he don't know what he's doing all the time. And he got some technology glitches, but I hope you'll stick with us. We offer that also on Sunday morning worship. So you can, right now, you can listen on the radio in your car right here on the church grounds. You can watch the service at your convenience on the church's website. Or you can call in and listen to the service on this Uber conference every Sunday morning. That number, 717 3880676. Thanks again for all your support in 2020. And we look forward to 2021 with great anticipation that things will get back to some sense of normal very, very soon. God bless you all. Have a great new year.